covered most of the major list items and those kinds of things. Is there something else that jumps out at you or like, I'm actually really enjoying this or really enjoying that? Uh, I mean, it's more so, I mean, because I read comics now, I think they'd be so more on the comic book angle of things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, The two that I actually read, my wife's, I, I finally got her to read comic books, but it has to be in the vein of like vampires and witches. So I actually, okay. um, she got me to read something called Redneck. It's like mm-hmm. five volumes. I'm, I'm praying for the sixth to come out. It's basically about vampires in Texas. As okay. see two things That's you would cool. never seem to think would work, and you're watching it, and they tell you how they wound up getting to Texas, who their familiars are, and uh, the beef with the townspeople that they have. It and it actually goes back to the very, very first vampire, and it has something to do with Jesus. And you're like, wow. I didn't know that I was going to find that out in the fourth or fifth volume, but you're like, okay, they made it work. Um, I didn't mean to be sacrilege, but um, they no, kind no, of listen, give you, I, yeah. I, 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 I'm not one of those that, that takes a lot of, I mean, there's a difference between like having that and then like being blasphemous or like being like, oh, no, no. Or anti. Like, I, I, I really just get honked off when things do that. And that's, that is okay. so, it's so commonplace now that I get mm-hmm. angry because I'm like, you guys don't think you're actually clever, do you? Like I just yeah, get like right. that's what bothers me more. It's like it's it's almost like you guys don't think you're actually. It's, like, it's almost like the woke stuff. It's like you guys actually don't think you're being creative at this point now. Like everyone has done it. Like you're so late to the game. Stop pretending. You, so it's called Redneck, and, right? Yeah, it's Redneck, and it's and for Joker, it's, it's not the the Judas is the first vampire myth. It's not even Judas at all. It's someone that's technically in the Bible, um, and they make it a. Uh, a temptation thing that he falls prey to and that's what makes him the first vampire but they don't tell you until um four or five volumes in who that is and basically they're like yo this is the guy before drac vlad the impaler's dracula and so um it winds up going the further you book into the book you go the further back the flashbacks go and hmm. so it actually gets very deep to a point where you're starting to read it and so when they got to volume five they tease this huge thing that's about to happen and that was like eight months to a year ago i i cannot for the life of me figure out when volume six is dropping um the other one is actually more family oriented well wait before we leave before we leave vampires because he he tries to call it shots there saying 30 days and nights the best vampire movie um i only have really given thought to vampire movies and trying to line them up but i will correct you when you talked about texas and vampires the john carpenter movie called vampires has sort of like that, you know, deserty scenes and things like that. Okay. That was one of the best elements of the movie was like the feel and the. I, I know it's a it's that's a nerdy word to use. The texture of the film felt felt really interesting, and while I have a ton of problems with that film, that was not one of them. Like the way it was shot and some of this, that I thought that was actually pretty good. So, yeah, um, yeah no, I I'm, I'm good with that. I look, Joker, I don't. I don't know. I don't have a vampire thing going. It's Lilith vampire origin myth. Um, Cause I really like the lost boys. You know, I really oh, yeah. like um, Bram Stoker's a Dracula with Gary Oldman. I just can't stand Keanu Reeves in that movie, but I really love Brent. I love Gary Oldman. Uh, but I'm also like the, O. I I mean, literally I'm like the OOG, right? So it's like for me, okay. the universal classic monster stuff for me is just okay. so special. Like Legosi and, and Karloff Frankenstein and the mummy and just this stuff was just we'd go to Universal Studios here in Florida and I'd be like yeah. um can I just be left because I would just leave and go leave the group they'd go they'd go do some show again or something I don't want to do and I just be like you know where I'll be and I'm in like the monster <laughs> cafe the monster cafe would have real props the, oh, yeah. the Universal did yeah. not play they had like actual scripts on the wall actual masks on the wall, full-size mannequins with the props. I mean, they went all out for that cafe. For them to remove that cafe, it broke my heart. I guess the cafe's gone. Yeah, I mean, I uh, I wanted more. I would wish more at least monster movies stuck with traditional prosthetics instead of using like, the CGI. You know, we can get into it. You know, we don't have yeah. a problem. Just American go ahead. American Werewolf just... in London, baby. American Werewolf yeah. in London. It was a mixture of the, the mm-hmm. techniques and it was pulled off perfectly. And yes. they just needed... It, I don't understand. I really don't. I just don't understand. I really don't. I, I can't. I, I can't get there. I will say my favorite vampire movie that it's it's rather recent because number one would probably be for me uh, Interview with the Vampire, but number two would be um, Daybreakers. I don't know if you ever saw that with Ethan Hawke. Basically, they're like, "Hey, we're vampires. We rule the world. Everyone's a vampire." 
you know, our cup of coffee is, you know, a mug of blood. And essentially they're like, well, what happens when there's no blood left? Hmm. And like, th okay. that's the concept. Uh, but yeah, it was a few years ago with uh, Ethan Hawke called Daybreakers. It was actually pretty good. I enjoyed it for what that was. Thank uh, you, Joker. I knew, I knew, I knew you had love for me there, bro. I, I think I need to do a series on some of those old. I own all of those box sets. Like it's just it, it takes up so much space because we didn't. They didn't really. My ver the copies I have are the old ones, so it's like the, mm -hmm. the boxes are all like this thick, and I'm like, you think of you know the, the new DVD version. That box is about that big. <laughs> do you wait? Did you so did you watch it? Was was it the Monster Squad at one point? Did they ever do that? I I, okay. I should have just rewatched Monster Squad. It's <laughs> that's almost like a kids comedy kind of twist on it. But there was okay. a TV show when I was a kid, right. and that was like that a big was... deal for me. I thought I had a board game. I finally sold it. Someone finally okay. offered me like a pretty nice profit and because uh, i had like. the, the board game was literally just a board and then they had like little wooden round tokens there was no like tokens it was just little round and that was the game it was so cheap okay. and cheesy but it was the monster squad game and i had this yeah. people would always ask me like what is that because you would see the monster the mm -hmm. from afar it's just a green box with frankenstein dracula and werewolf on it people are like what are you yeah. oh, it's monster squad i, well, I was I always treat it like of course you know what monster squad is and people look at you like no. I got nothing. I'm like, well, now, well. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to ask. I mean, if because I remember Universal was trying to make their version of the Avengers uh, slash. Yeah. And I was like, if you ever did a video comparing and contrasting, because I don't know if you ever saw them and tried to figure out what they were going to do. I don't know how you felt about, you know, then trying to redo it. And I was trying to figure out, well, hey, someone that knows the original version and saw what they were trying to do. Like, what were your thoughts on it? Even if you make a video for it, I was like, I'd mm. want to hear about it. Cause it's, I was like, yeah, I, I'd have to get someone well, like Joker who also is probably very versed in those films too, where yeah. they were conceptually like the mummy wasn't bad for yeah. like the first probably 40 minutes or so. And then it become like a stupid mm -hmm. chase movie. Yeah, uh, And then, the, and then just a, ri a ridiculous Tom Cruise action film at the end. But the first <laughs> part where it was actually trying to be scary and she was like all weird and an orthodox, yeah. that yes. was actually not bad at all i liked all I liked that it. so there were elements that were fine and and we didn't even scratch the surface of what they were doing with russell crowe as like hyde like i think that we had a great actor and we could have really kind of done some interesting things there mm -hmm. they had um johnny depp under contract to do invisible man which i think oh. johnny, depp could, johnny depp can pull off just about anything um so there were elements to the dark universe the problem is the creative teams i believe that's yeah. Kurtzman, and okay. um, they're just incompetent humans. They're just they're just terrible people. Like they just they're just. <laughs> I mean, let's just be honest. I just I'm not high on any of these people right now. Like there's so right. few of them. Um, and you know what the thing is, ego is they don't have the love and the care. They just don't. They don't have. And that's where a lot of stuff is. So instead of having Mister Hyde being Nick Fury of the MonsterVerse, it should have been Van Helsing. Well, no, I think that Hyde would have been trying to be a nick fury and then they bring in van helsing i think that's what they do and if i were writing it all van helsing's the villain right because you're writing it from the, the monsters oh. perspectives right you bring in all the other oh. stuff but the big twist of it all is the monsters are who that's we should cool. want to win we should all okay. want the monsters we want the monsters to carry on even though they're not going to they'll, they'll make it contained they're never going to get killed I would never want my monsters to get killed. They have, they have to carry on. There has to be another chance for a son of Dracula. There has to be another, you know, we can't have Abbott and Costello meets Frankenstein for for all the people. We also don't ever kill them all. We have to have, by the way, that's that, that is my OG. You talk about what you want to have mindless fun. Mm -hmm. I put in my Abbott and Costello and I, I just like makes it Abbott and Costello meets Frankenstein with the actual guys playing it. I mean, the fact that they got Karloff and Lon Chaney Jr., it, it blows my mind. They were able to pull. I, 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 we could never do that today. We can never get this stuff. All right. Well, that's good. No, I, I wrote it down. I did not get mm -hmm. to a chance to uh, track down Redneck in that short notice, but I did write it down. That's fine. Uh, okay. I'm, knee deep, I'm knee deep in the Spawn universe. Have you heard how good this is? Everyone, I mean, they were trying to get me on um, Gunslinger Spawn, I think. Mm -hmm. I got it saved and it's in my wish list. And I know I probably might get it in the next week or two. So I mean, the, uh, I, they're telling me it might be a good place to start. What do you think? Yeah. Well, I just did my video on King 
spawn. So I'll probably okay. drop that. I drop my comic book stuff now on Wednesday. It's comic book day. Oh, nice. Right? Okay. So uh, King Spawn number one. Well, first off, there's something called Spawn Universe number one. Okay. And then I would read King Spawn number one and then Gunslinger. Because there's a, what they did with the okay. number one issues <laughs> is they had like little backup stories. Mm-hmm. And in the backup story of and it's 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 very small like if you were to read them out of order it's not the end of the world but it it does help like it, it just helps and um here's the thing if you like art mm-hmm. i know you do you're gonna right. love them all I, right so wait it, so it's it's which one king spawn then gunslinger spawn, spawn universe number one okay then king okay. spawn number one okay. then gunslinger number one Got it. Okay. I'm only a few issues. I'm only a few issues. I've only done a video. I've only did a video on issues one through three of Gunslinger, and I did, I actually just did an issue on just issue number one of King Spawn because the book is so dense. Holy really? crap! I could have showed yeah. every single page of the art. I could. There are so many scenes where he tries to do something different, which is what is so refreshing. I feel like I'm in the 1990s. I'm like, this is so. I know why everyone's praising the book. So. I'm down the spawn rabbit hole. Uh, now I'm, I'm enjoying I'm enjoying spawn. I'm only a few issues. Okay. I mean, again, they're way further ahead of me. Like I think Gunslinger is on like issue 17 or something. I'm on like three. Okay. I'm you know, well, I'm, I'm pat I did a review up to three. I, I'm past that now, but um, okay. remind me and I also will send you a link to something that might be helpful. Jeez. So I'll take it. Yeah, that that works. Um, I guess the other uh, the only other comic that I was reading that isn't you know DC or Marvel related. I actually finished it maybe about six months to six to eight months ago. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know if you ever heard of Birthright. Uh, no, I had not heard of it. It, it. Again, this is an image comics thing, so I didn't really have access to oh, that's fine. Um, any of their uh, digital platforms or anything like that. I, yeah. I And I really, until I started doing pops, I really hadn't been over to their website in like forever. Yeah. All of their issues, all their issue number ones were free, by the way, guys. There's a whole, like, oh, if yeah. you go to... Uh, image comics there's a little button that says read their first issues that is a brilliant strategy by the way that especially when everything's are so art driven for some of these but i will say todd's really running a smart thing because if, you, if you're going to have the woke artsy crap then you just put it out the same way you do everything else you just let it stand okay. if there's yep. an audience for it and they want it fine okay. i got it for you yep. but i'm not i'm not putting it in spawn Basically, no. that's what he would do. What yeah, he should yeah, do. Yeah. He's just no. It's not going to be in spawn, which is not no. anything I've read yet. Nothing is woke. Okay. No, I get that. It is. Yeah. It is graphic. It is freaking amazing. Like it is. I'll take it. It's '90s hardcore, man. And I love the religious allegories that are in there too. It's really he. He doesn't shy really? away. And I don't think he. I don't think I've really been offended. I think it's just more like, oh, that's interesting. Um, yeah. So. So tell me about birthright. What do you like about birthright? Oh, so birthright is actually it's almost. Like a a family friendly adventure. It's really it's really strange. Mm-hmm. I didn't know if I was gonna like it, but um, my best friend Exhibitor, um, he's got kids, and so uh, he's telling me about this story. It's like, hey, it's about this um, this family. Um, it's a mom, a dad, and an older brother and a younger brother. And so, the dad is taking the younger brother out to go play uh, catch in the uh, the fields because they are uh, they're the mom and his older brother are actually setting up his birthday gifts, like setting up the party, and so. Dad throws a ball, and um, his son's name is Mikey. Mikey runs in the forest and does not come back. Hmm. And so they get the police, the FBI. It's a it's a local news story for over a year. Mom and dad get divorced. Divorced. Oldest brother is fighting kids because they think that his dad did it. Dad starts drinking. Mom's moved on. Out of nowhere, they wind up, the pol- local police pick up this man that's got a battle axe, swords, uh maps and books and uh they sit him down he's he's tatted up basically he look he goes from looking like just your little innocent seven-year-old to jason momoa and they're like hmm. yo what is your name he's like my name's mikey and they're like no you're not mikey is missing he should be seven not 25 and so they do the fingerprinting and they show the parents that the dad's like that's my son the mom's like that is not my son and the brother doesn't know what to believe and so you try you go and figure out you're like where have you been what's going on are you okay. really mikey are you not mikey it's right. 10 volumes but they're all, all right well, i don't want to get too many spoilers because you're you're I, no, you know no, i trust i'm, I'm going to trust your judgment this, so i'm a litmus test guy right so i take yeah, your yeah, recommendations yeah. and you can kind of figure out where i agree and just... <laughs>